How do you handle success when you're a young player? We've seen this story before. It's a sad, it's a, it's a sad story, it really is. But how you handle it is probably more important than when you receive it. You know, once you're doing it and you're doing all these things, well, when it all comes to fruition, how do you handle that? How do you go about, you know, being a pro player? All the things that are off the field and all these people that are grabbing at you and want you to do things, this whole organization didn't help him either. They, yeah, they really that, didn't. I think that's a great point. How do you handle success? And even the way... You, and you said, Stephen A., he was feeling himself. Think about this. This is another object lesson. You cannot impose physical gifts exclusively on the quarterback position. It doesn't matter who you are, right? That will catch up to you. But to RG3's credit, he recognized that. And the source of the problem seems to be he was like, wait a minute. I want to become a more complete player. I'd like to have an actual career. Hey. So it's not that the idea was bad. Apparently, the way he went about it mm -hmm. was arrogant according to some or some, hey, Max some and kind coach, of way that turned people off max and coach can i end it by saying this colin kaepernick ain't the only one that should be looking for a job in the nfl if you got scott tolzine as a backup yeah. quarterback well, along with some of these other guys i'm not going to sit up here and tell you rg3's career is over i think he can get back in the nfl as long as everyone understands he is not this negative guy that they paint him as